Hey guys, welcome back. It's Joji and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. So I do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And in today's video, I have a new product for you guys to try on and review today. And this one is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Pink Gasm Jewel Lips. So I have the two shades that she launched. This is a limited edition and I also have her Hollywood uh, Beauty Light Wand in the shade uh, Pink Gasm Sunset. So today we're going to do some application of course on the cheek and on the lips and as well as swatches for you guys to see. See so if you are wanting to see all of that, just keep on watching. Already before I start the application, I want to show you the box of this uh, Pink Gasm Jewel Lips Collection because they're so pretty. So here are uh, the two colors, so the light pink and the like, kind of berry pink right here. All the ingredients is listed at the back. I am a big fan of the packaging from outside. And of course, this is a limited edition like I mentioned earlier. And as well as the Hollywood Beauty Light one, it is also a limited edition. And this is how it looks like. As usual, the same as the other color, but just this one is limited. So now, I'm going to show you the packaging of the blush first. So now that is the packaging. It's so beautiful. I love this color. Anything with like a warm orangey kind of vibe, perfect for summer. And now let me show you. It's so clean, but look at that shade. It's beautiful. It's simple, but you can really see the color from each other. They're both really different. Let's do the application. I'm going to do the blush first. I do not have any blush. I do have a bronzer, but no blush. And that's how you open it. All right, so now you have to put this one on the open side. And I'm going to show you while we take some product. There you have it. You can see the product. I'm going to be using a sponge to blend this because I feel like, oh, that's on the darker side. But let's see how it goes. Already that is the first application and initial thought it's sort of light but I'm not sure it, because like I use a sponge but I do love the way how the sponge looks like every time I blend this blush. So it's very subtle you can see it already there but the good thing with this is it's not a matte finish. So in the summer if you feel like you know you want a little bit of shimmer healthy glow this is a good option for you plus it's very nice and warm it's just giving you this like very fresh kind of sunny day look that everybody's looking for so that is the first layer i wanted to do a second layer over here let's do that though i'm gonna apply it a little higher already so that is with the second layer i really love the effect of this blush honestly so now i'm gonna try on this side but first i will do a synthetic brush just to see how it looks like let me grab a brush let's try it here two dots again and i want to use this ysl brush i mean it's there but i feel like my brush just you know absorb all of that let's do our finger okay absolutely with finger when you blend it it's beautiful like i said earlier i prefer the sponge when i apply this product i think the, the idea of this blush is to just really have this very natural kind of glow um sunset so let me just add a little bit more i mean you can even go here like in front of your cheek under your eyes slightly just to get that nice bronzy warm look which i really like the sponge the finger is you know very healthy looking as well you didn't lose that glow but if you still wanted to see a little bit more color i can build up so now you can see more color i feel like that's actually a lot but i really really like it these kind of blushes including the matte blushes that i just reviewed recently as well it's not as pigmented so it's supposed to look like just very light gives you this natural glow or natural blush and i really like this color when i first saw this and i know that it's a limited edition i i know i have to get it so after this we are gonna give you a swatches for all of the ones that i tried today let's go ahead with the lip product first 
already so i'm not sure which shade i'm gonna try first but i guess i have to go with the light shade this is the product or this is the shade that i'm the most excited because i really love this color it is such a nice kind of baby pink color in it and it's supposed to be a plumping gloss i just recently also reviewed the dior uh, lip maximizer that one is amazing and so i added two from charlotte and i cannot wait to try okay so that is the applicator you can see i love the bottle of this apply it smells like vanilla chocolate all right so you can really see that like baby pink color on my lips right now this would be perfect you just want to wear it by itself or you are going to put it on top of the lipstick that you already have i mean this is a beautiful color gorgeous color for summer especially if you have more of a fair kind of lip undertone for myself i already have a darker lip undertone to begin with but you can still see the effect and the way how it feels it's very light it's not very tacky when i speak i don't see that like sticky one like this there's none of that effect i love the smell it smells like food that i feel like i want to like eat it <laughs> but overall i'm impressed with this lip uh, product i really really like it and by the way you guys i haven't mentioned the name but this one is called pink gasm it's very simple and then the other one is called pink gasm sunset so this is pink gasm and this is pink gasm sunset take a look at the lip product first oh my goodness i can't stop looking at the blush it's really good so that's how it looks like now i'm also curious to apply this with the blush because they're supposed to be similar kind of color so let me just remove this all right let's jump into this pink gasm sunset i'm excited i feel like this one should be really really good match with a blush and for summer it's perfect let's see oh my goodness you guys this one is super love like i can already see that i'm gonna use this a lot all right so that's how it looks like it has this like a little bit of shimmery kind of glittery into the product so it adds a little bit more of dimension but the other reason is the shade it's like when you look at here, it looks like it's super bright, but once it goes onto your lips, for me, it just gives me this very natural, kind of like the most natural lips that you could have. It's not super red, it's not super berry, like it's just so, so pretty. Take a look at that. And then look at all my lips. It's so healthy looking. I love the smell. It's not super strong. I'm a big fan of something that either no fragrance or just like a mild smell this is good so what do you guys think which one do you like better this pink one or this berry one but first before i give you my final thought i'm gonna give you some swatches all right you guys so here are the swatches of the product so you can see first one is the pink gasm shade second one is the pink gasm sunset and the last one is the Pink Gasm Sunset Blush. So these ones are beautiful. And of course, you can see it right here. Again, I'm going to repeat this. Products are limited edition. So if you're curious, if you are interested, make sure that you get it because Charlotte Tilbury actually is really popular. And if it's a limited edition, you might not get it later. Uh, I do have an affiliate link with Charlotte Tilbury and you can use my 15% code. You are going to get the 15% off on your first time purchase and uh, also it's going to help my channel to improve and I can also upload a lot more video so I hope that you don't mind doing that my final thought about the blush first of all the shade is beautiful you can see I want to show you this side which is the sponge application and I did my finger application here it's not a big difference but if you want to tone down a little bit of that glow go for the sponge and if you want more of that like glowy kind of looking healthy this is definitely your choice again it's not as pigmented so don't be scared it looks like it's really dark when you first apply it but once you blend it it's actually just perfect i really really love the shade and the way how it applies it's so even it's very smooth 
And now let's go ahead into the lip product. First of all, the feeling is beautiful. The scent is beautiful. I love it. It's not super strong like I mentioned earlier. There's no tackiness into it. It's very comfortable on the lips. And I don't know if I'm ready to say this, but I really thought I'm going to like the Pink Gasm shade a lot more because I feel like this is so pretty. But now looking at my lips and looking at the way how it just looks like overall, I think I really like this. I think this is going to be my favorite one. It's so moisturizing. It actually doesn't say plumping. Maybe it's my mistake, but I think it's just a hydration gloss. That's why it feels very good. It doesn't have any tingling feeling, which is makes sense. Um, but yeah, take a look at that shade again. I think this is just my favorite. I'm going to use it a lot more. Overall, these products are worth it. Plus, if you can get any discount that you can, it's totally worth it. I really love it. That's everything from me today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope this one helps you. Let me know if you have any suggestion, any comment. Leave a comment down below so I know. And of course, don't forget to hit like on this video. It's going to help me a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. That's it for today, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.